I'm Jack Buffington for RobotBrigade.com. I have a problem. I have a CNC router here that produces a lot of sawdust. And I have a shop vac that sucks it up. But the problem with this shop vac is it has a pretty big filter that sits inside of this tank, so it can't actually get a lot of uh, sawdust all at once. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to take this 30 gallon garbage can and mount this on top of it. I should say that I've seen something very similar to this done and I know it'll work. Uh, when I was a kid I had a friend whose father wanted to excavate a section out from underneath his house and what he chose to do rather than hauling buckets and buckets and buckets of dirt up the steps is he cut a small hole in the wall where he took a shop vac hose and ran it up outside and he put the shop vac uh, itself on top of a enclosed trailer that he made sure was airtight and so he would just you know loosen up the dirt downstairs suck it all up with that shop vac and then it'd be loaded right into that trailer ready to go to haul away when he was when you got it awful. What I'm going to attempt to do is cut a hole in the lid of the garbage can so that it just fits this uh, the shape of the bottom of the shop vac container. And as you can see it has a rather complex form so what I'm going to do first is do a cardboard prototype and then I'll draw that out on top of the, uh, the lid here and then, rather than just having it be a hole, I'm actually going to, where I've cut, I'm going to take and fold the edges in so that I can screw to the sides of this shop back container. So I have my final shape here, and this fits quite snugly with the container. And the way I made it is I have a piece of cardboard that I put a pencil tip into. And I just traced the shape of the container with it, and that allowed me to get pretty accurate on the first try. I now have the canister fitting pretty snugly onto the um, garbage can lid, and what you can see I did here was I took the edges, and rather than cutting them flush with the canister, I folded them down so that there's a little bit of uh, flashing on the inside of the garbage can. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some sealant, uh, you know, with the uh, caulking gun, and I'm going to put it in between these pieces here, and then I'm going to screw the pieces into the uh, side of the vacuum canister. Then my final step will be to cut out the bottom of this canister. So, in a few minutes, uh, and mere seconds for you, I will show the finished thing. I now have the canister fully mounted onto the lid. I've got it sealed. I've got it screwed on. And it is ready to roll. One thing that I was hoping by using a steel container rather than a plastic uh, garbage can is that uh, the sides wouldn't cave in on me when, when the uh, vacuum was on. But I'm finding that if I fully block the uh, vacuum port, it still does cave them in a little bit. So what I've been doing, I haven't fully completed this, but I've been putting strips of uh, steel in just to keep it from kinking. It can curve in some still, but it doesn't kink anymore. And that's the thing that I was worried about would be that it kinks out of shape and then looks bad. So uh, we've got it all set and we are ready to work.